Say hi guys. Hey everyone. Long time no talk. Um, with this whole coronavirus, we've just been staying at home. So it's been pretty boring here and I don't want to bore you guys with everyday life. But yesterday in the mail, I got a new shipment of clothes. So I was going through all of Gray's clothes. I'll show you guys. I have a pile of all of his um, 18 month or 12 to 18 month clothes. Yes, it's kind of messy, but I'm gonna fold them neatly and put them into boxes because Grayson doesn't fit into 18 month clothes anymore. He's too big. He will be turning two years old in less than a month. Um, today is the 27th of March and his birthday is April 11. So coming up soon, it's very exciting. So I went through his closet here and I got rid of all of the 12 to 18 month and 18 month clothes. A lot of it was like summer clothes that he wore last summer that I just was waiting for all the winter clothes to, for him to grow out of as well. So I have all those in a pile. I'm going to put them in boxes with all of his other clothes downstairs and save them for the next baby. Um, we still don't know if baby is a boy or a girl, but we will be finding out soon. More on that later. What would you like, Grayson? Do you need help? So this is Grayson's new thing. He's a daredevil and he likes to get on furniture and climb and do crazy tricks. And so he likes me to put him on the stool and then he rocks off and he thinks that's pretty fun. So anyway, let me show you what I got. And I had all this and then Grayson just destroyed it like usual, but that's all right. So Carter's was having a sale on their on their website and it was buy one get two free on all of their door busters they didn't have a lot of variety of clothes it was mostly just shirts and sweat shorts which I mean makes sense they can't be giving all their clothes away for free but I was able to find six things that I liked so I got buy or buy one get two free twice um, and so I'll show you guys what I ended up getting was I think I had to pay um, $16 and $16 and then I got uh, four free shirts and so I ended up buying six shirts for $5 each so I only paid $30 that is an awesome deal especially for Carter's especially for clothes like I was really excited for that so I just wanted to show you guys they might still be having it on their site now you can go check um, again, they don't have a ton of selection of clothes, but if you can find something that you like, get it because that's an awesome deal. I'm not sure how long they're going to be running it for, but let me show you what shirts I got. Um, sorry, they're again, all mangled, but I have this shirt. Oops. So I have this shirt. It's just like a regular shirt with a little pocket square. And then I have this striped shirt with a little pocket square. Um, I think these were the two that I ended up paying for because they're like a little nicer. I got this, this is just like a regular red shirt with a pocket square. This one I thought was really cute. It's got dinosaurs on it and it's green. That's a unique color. And then I got this shirt. It's got little race cars on it, which I thought was really cute. And I also got... This shirt, let me fold it out for you. It's so cute. It's got a little fire truck on it and a helicopter and Gray loves fire trucks right now. So I thought that was really cute. So that's what I got from um, Carter's. I was really happy with that deal. I'm hoping to find more deals because I was going through Grayson's clothes as I was taking the 18 month clothes out. I was like, okay, what two T summer clothes do I have? So I know for the summer what Grayson needs. And I realized he had, before all this before this clothing haul, he had one short sleeve shirt and two shorts and two shorts. Um, one sweat short and one uh, pair of khaki shorts. And that's it, that's all he had for summer. And I was freaking out about it. And this coronavirus is here. And so it's making it so that you can't really go out very much unless you need essentials. And I don't know if clothing is very essential. So I've had to do a lot of online shopping. Thankfully, um, 
summer isn't here yet. We're in late March. Like I said, it's the 27th of March. So we're almost in April. It's still kind of chilly out. We've been getting some warm days, some like high 60 days. But for the most part, it's like high 40s, low 50s. So we can still get away with him wearing like he's wearing this long sleeve outfit today. So thankfully, we've been able to do get along with that. But eventually, it's going to get hot. Hopefully, by the time it gets hot, the coronavirus won't be as bad and we will, we'll be able to leave home. Right now in Ohio, we're under a stay-at-home order for two weeks. Um, I think we're in day like three or four of that order. So hopefully, it'll be lifted soon and then I can go out and like hit up a couple stores. I want to go to like Once Upon a Child and see what's there. I really don't want to spend a lot of money on Grayson's clothes just because with this coronavirus we're just trying to save money right now. Um, thankfully Anthony still has his job. His job is letting him work from home which is amazing um, but it's just hard and we're just trying to save on money. Eventually we want to move to a new house so every penny counts. So I'm just going to try to find more deals like the one I found at Carter's. I hope they'll have more deals like this coming up. Um, I'm hoping that with this whole coronavirus and people not shopping as much that they will put out more deals because they'll want more people to buy their stuff. So that's what I'm holding on to, but we will see. I wanted to talk about the whole gender thing. So we were set to have a 3D, 4D ultrasound of baby um, this weekend. So today's Friday. It was supposed to be two days from now. Unfortunately, once they... Um, created the stay-at-home order in Ohio, um, that place closed because they're only letting essential businesses stay open and ultrasounds are not essential if you're just going to have a 3D, 4D ultrasound. So, <laughs> um, I got plan B. Thankfully, there is a, another option. I ordered on Sneak Peek. Um, you can go on their website. Basically, what they do is they send you a blood test kit in the mail and you prick your finger. You have to like sanitize the whole area so you don't get any like DNA particles other than yours in the sample. You get you collect a sample and then you send it back in the mail and then they send you via email what the gender of your baby is and they look to see if there's like what chromosomes are in your blood. If there are only female chromosomes in your blood, then it's a girl. If they find boy chromosomes in your blood, obviously if I'm a girl, I shouldn't have boy chromosomes in my blood. So that would indicate that baby is a boy. So I am waiting for that to come in the mail. It is supposed to come by 8 p.m. today. I just checked and they said that it is out for delivery. So I'm very excited for that. I will uh, record as much as I can for you guys. Um, I'm not looking forward to pricking my finger, but this is the only option we have. The gender reveal is a couple weeks away. It's on Easter. Hopefully the stay at home order is not still up for the party, um, but we'll still do some kind of gender reveal even if we can't have the party I will still we'll just like FaceTime or video it so I do need to know the gender and my 20 week ultrasound where we would find out the gender is not until the end of April so that was that would be too late <laughs> so that is our plan we are waiting for the um for the kit to come in so that I can collect the sample and then I will send it back ASAP. I'm super excited to know the gender of baby. Anthony and I still need to figure out like who's gonna know so we can figure out because I want to do cupcakes and have the inside be the color of the baby's gender. So we still have to figure all that stuff out. Um, but in the next video that I'm gonna record, I am going to do a list of um, old wives tales and do gender predictions. Um, I did this with my last pregnancy with Grayson. It was really fun. So I will do it again. I will do different things like um, the ring test where you get a hold of your hair and put the ring over your belly and see if it, if it spins or if it just sways or something. And there's... Um, putting your urine in baking soda and seeing if it fizzes or not and there's the Chinese calendar so I'll be going over all of those things in my next vlog so stay tuned for that but I wanted to let you guys know about that awesome Carter's deal um, and let me know if you guys find any other awesome short sleeved 2T boy <laughs> cloth deals boy clothing deals um, I'm really trying to keep a budget and have him look semi-decent for summer <laughs> so let me know but yeah Grayson while I was talking to you guys has been making a total mess what are you doing 
His new favorite thing is he takes all of his stuffed animals out of this basket, throws them all over, and then sits in the basket. He thinks that's pretty fun. He also likes to get all of the books from his bookshelf and throw them all on the floor. He hasn't done that yet. He likes to get out his suitcase and open it and sit in the suitcase. He likes to get all of the diapers out, even though I put them on here, and throw them everywhere. He likes to get all of the balls out of this little playset and throw them everywhere. I really just need to put this away. I think I'm going to do that today because <laughs> I'm so tired of chasing these balls everywhere. So if you are seeing a theme, Grayson just likes to make messes, destroy. He's getting into that two-year-old terrible twos. We are dealing with that as it comes. <laughs> But yeah, I will let you guys know when we get the um, gender kit and I will record some of it. We'll see. But I'm so excited. And Gray's going to read his book. Look at him sitting in that little rocking chair. So cute. Is that black? Don't, don't rip it. That's another problem we're having is he rips his books. Don't rip it. Okay guys, so I'm super excited. Let me close this door. Cause I don't want anyone contaminating. But I got my sneak peek package in the mail today. So this is what it looks like. Sneak peek early gender DNA test. And then on the back it says, females only. Avoid male contact with contents within this kit. And then says boy or girl get ready to find out and then has directions on the back so like I was saying earlier you have to like keep the area very sterile no no male DNA can be around no pet male DNA cat dog whatever and obviously like your husband or even your child none of that so Grayson's in bed Anthony's downstairs I'm gonna do this just right here on my vanity set Anthony obviously does not go to my vanity set and I have wiped it down with some Clorox wipes and then I've also put down some um, paper towels just to like just to like add another barrier to it so um, I probably won't film too much of this because I just really want to concentrate and make sure I get it all done but I will let you know once it's over how it all went so here we go okay so I haven't done anything yet but I wanted to show you what's inside the box I opened the box and here's the directions it's front and back so there are a lot of things that you have to do just kind of daunting these are the um, I don't know what they're called Lan Lancet and these are how I prick my finger and then this is the vial I collect the blood in I have to fill it to that black line um, and then they gave me bags this has band-aids and um, alcohol swabs in it and then I have to place a sample inside this bag and then I have to place it inside this and then this is a nail brush so I clean my nails and this uh, kind of a tourniquet you just put around your wrist and then this is the inside of the box and then you put the vial here to like set it up or whatever they also gave me stickers <laughs> for whether it's a boy or a girl um, so first I had to go online which I just did and I had to register my box um, and then it told me like no males can even can be near me while I do this. I have to do a clean surface, um, clean it, and then drink water, and then I have to wait 20 minutes. So I just drink water, I have to wait 20 minutes, which this is gonna make me pee a lot, because <laughs> I'm pregnant, but whatever. Um, I haven't done this yet, but I have to sanitize my hands and clean with the nail brush. Then I have to set up the vial in here. I have to get the blood flowing by standing up, which I already am, opening, closing, and then putting the tourniquet on. I have to stab myself, yay. Then I have to um, collect the blood, put a Band-Aid on my finger. I like how they give directions on how to do that. <laughs> uh, I have to mix it, package it, and then put it in the return it to the post office so it's a lot to do but it's worth it because I just want to know what this baby's gonna be so I have everything ready to go and I'm just gonna do it hopefully it doesn't hurt I don't enjoy causing pain to myself but hopefully it doesn't hurt too bad we'll see
Okay, so it's done. My contents are in this envelope. I did prick my finger like I knew I would have to. Um, it did sting a little bit, but it was fine. And I was able to collect all of the blood into the vial. The vial goes into that clear box, which then goes into a baggie, which then goes into a bigger baggie. Well, when I was trying to open the big baggie, it like wasn't opening. And so I like really pulled hard and I accidentally like pulled the seams of the baggie apart. So I'm hoping that there's enough um, safety of the vial, of it being in a vial, in a, in a box, in a baggie, hopefully. I don't know. Otherwise, they're just gonna have to send me another one. I'm gonna have to do it again. I really hope I don't have to do that, but I don't know. That just is what happens with me. I can't do it right. But yes, I have it, have it here. Very excited. I'm gonna take it to the post office tomorrow, get it scanned, get it shipped, so it can get to um, back to California. That's where they do all of the labs and stuff. So I will keep you guys posted. Um, I think that's all for the tonight's video. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Next video will be, um, it'll either be a bump date or it will be the um, what old wives tales tests and things like that. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Bye guys.